Hi guys, how's everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well and in this video it's the final one of the series Let's Talk About It. I've got another one to add um, which I will add tomorrow but that will be um, because I recorded it and I forgot to upload it so that will be going on tomorrow. This one I'll be uploading today and what we're going to talk about today is cosmetic surgery. Is it a psychological issue or is it a harmless choice? So there are lots of different reasons people have cosmetic surgery and this isn't about judging anyone or saying what people should do or shouldn't do because it's your life and it's your choices but really it's looking at the reasons why do people feel they need to have cosmetic surgery and is it in some forms um, you know psychologically da damaging or dangerous or should we just allow people to just go ahead and you know it's their choice leave it at that so a book that I've mentioned on this channel and I've spoke about quite a lot is that book Psycho Cybernetics. I've made a few videos on here about it and that is about a plastic surgeon who talks about the differences in reactions and responses when people have had surgery. So some people who he felt didn't need surgery were saying that they did, there was completely nothing wrong with them and he said it would have been unethical for any surgeon to operate on them because there was absolutely nothing wrong with them. And then he talked about people who did have surgery and it was really extreme, but they noticed no difference at all. Even when people were saying you look completely different, they couldn't see it. So what he was saying really is it comes down to how people feel about themselves from the inside. So no amount of surgery is going to change how you feel about yourself. And I suppose because cosmetic surgery is a way of altering your physical appearance and it can be due to pressure, it can be due to insecurities, feelings of, you know, um, wanting to look like someone else. And I sp that's the interesting part about it, because when I hear people who want surgery to look like Kim Kardashian, or they want surgery to look like this person, it baffles me because it's like, you're not going to be that person. Even if you look like them, you're still going to be you. You might have that person's um, look, and you're never going to be able to look completely like them anyway. A surgeon's not going to be able to do that. Uh, it's like you know impossible you might already look similar to that person so they can do a few bits here and there to make you become like a look-alike or whatever but you're not going to be living their life and you're not going to be them so it's kind of like that to me is psychological because it's like are you trying are you so not happy with you yourself that you're wanting to be like someone else but you can't really be like them anyway even if you have the surgery it's just a bit to me it's a bit uh strange and I do get that people um, really struggle, especially if they've got body dysmorphia or they really have maybe been bullied or they struggle with how they look and how they feel about themselves. So what I want to say is that is a personal choice. If you decide that having um, a nose job or having a um, boob job or whatever it is you want to have, liposuction, it will make you feel better, then I think no one should be able to say to you not to do that. But it's looking at whether you're going to get the result in the end because as much physical um, surgery you can do on your physical appearance if the inside hasn't changed if your mindset hasn't changed if your thoughts and your beliefs and feelings about yourself haven't changed then it's going to be just a waste of money really so you need to think about the risks um you know it's a medical procedure things can go wrong and there's a lot of stories especially when people have had these um brazilian butt lifts um, people who've had liposuction in different countries because they've spent less money and they've gone abroad, had these cheap surgeries done. There's no checking um, on these doctors sometimes because it's not regulated in the same way as it probably is in your country or in certain countries. There's also no aftercare. So when you come home, then if things go wrong, it's difficult. People are having to go to their own doctor for things. But also it's just a big risk. If someone is charging a little bit of money for a cosmetic surgery, which is quite um, skilled, you have to ask yourself, why are they charging? Why is it that cheap? The only reason it's going to be really cheap is because they know they're not doing the same the job as a top surgeon would be doing. So is it worth the risk? You have to think. Um, also, you can become addicted to having surgery if the surgery is not giving you what you want. It can almost be the same as a drug addiction. You're wanting that high, you're chasing that high. Now there are people out there who are just having surgery after surgery and they're never feeling satisfied 
and people are saying to them, well, you've had enough now, you know, what more can you do to your face? What more can you do to your body? But they're just going for it and going for it. And then there's another set of people who were trying to break records. There was a woman who had loads of her ribs removed and her waist is the tiniest waist in the world. And it just looks, it, basically she wants to have like Barbie, like the Barbie doll like waist, but she's removed ribs, she's done everything. And it's just, I don't know. And then people also having boob jobs, the biggest boobs in the world and that sort of thing. And you have to think, Obviously they're doing that because they want to be known for breaking this record and they want to get attention, which they are getting, but at what cost? You know, are they still happy with what they've done? And that's, I suppose, only they can answer that. Also, sometimes when people are having the types of surgeries where they want to change their ethnicity, or you can't change your ethnicity, but they want less ethnic features. So I've heard of people having like their eyes widened or their eyes um, made smaller or, you know, the reason they're having a nose job is so that their nose could be more European, whatever it is, it's about the reasons behind it. It's thinking, when those people then look in the mirror later on and don't recognise themselves, how does that make them feel? Because what you're doing is you're changing yourself to that extreme that you're not even yourself anymore. And I think that can lead sometimes to people having stress and having depression. Because you can wake up one day and you can think, I've had too much done now, I don't know who I am anymore. Um, when I'm around my family, they don't recognise me as much. And obviously they'll know it's you, <laughs> but they'll just say, you look so different, you're not the person that you were. And that, that can also affect how you feel about yourself. Because if you don't recognise yourself anymore, physically, then maybe internally you feel, who am I? You know, look at this person. I've had so much work done that I don't even know who I am anymore. So I think it can go either way. I think it depends on the reasons you're doing it, depends on the mindset behind it, and depends on the, if you're prepared for the psychological aspects, then there's nothing wrong with having surgery, but really think about why you're doing it. If you're chasing this ideal of, I'm gonna get surgery and all of a sudden it's gonna change my life, or I'm doing it because I want to be someone else, then maybe have a sit down and have a little think more and try and look at whether you can accept yourself how you are. But there's no judgment and there's no uh, criticism. I think with this one, it is literally both. It's a psychological issue for some people and it's a harmless choice for others. So let me know what you guys think. Please let me know what you think about what's been said. Leave your comments, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, bye.